welcome to the vlog. Honestly, I don't have much going on today at all, but I thought that I would still vlog just to take you guys along with me. I got new Lana Del Rey merch. Alicia bought me this. How sweet is she? If you guys missed the last vlog, go watch it because it was a really good one. Lauren and Jeremy's wedding was last night and it was beautiful. I took you guys along with us the whole weekend. It was just such a beautiful day. I will be so honest. I am pretty hungover right now because I got lost in the sauce and had a really fun time. Yes, it's 1.54 p.m. I have a call in six minutes. Today is honestly a very chill day. I scheduled today to be a loaf day because I figured I was gonna be hungover, but I do have some errands and things that I need to run. So with that being said, let's get to today or let's get to this afternoon. We just did a call with the pet psychic to touch base on everything that's been going on. If you guys wanna know about the pet psychic, go listen to Pretty Basic. But we just did a little meeting with her. She was amazing. Daisy says, I... I think it's mostly okay, is what Daisy says. Yeah. She says, I think it's mostly okay. I feel mostly okay now. But she's, there's like an area that is, do you have white carpet? Do you have that's a That's where white the, the, mm -hmm. the, the root bedroom, that's where they just fought. Mm -hmm. Okay. She said, that white carpet area is for me. Yeah. I don't really want her there. So I would interpret that as, Give her alone bedroom time. Okay, we do. We sh and she goes up there and hangs out alone. <laughs> and things are getting so much better. I'm so grateful, I'm so happy. I've got another call in five minutes for PXU stuff and then I'm gonna make myself my hangover meal because I am ready and I should be drinking water and liquid IV right now. So let me get to that, let me get to the meeting and I'll touch base with you in a second. Also, how cute is this merch? Also such nice quality, so thick, so soft and these little bows, so cute. Let's go, I'll see you soon. Hello guys, just wrapped a couple more meetings and I made my lunch slash dinner slash first meal of the day. I have here odong noodles or ramen. It's like a spicy ramen, which honestly just sounds so good right now when I am <laughs> feeling hungover. Oh my god, it's perfect. Fish cake always. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We got noodles. Got my Korean spoon. Oh my god, I didn't tell you guys yet. I'm going to Korea next month with Alicia. We're meeting up with my parents in Seoul, and I'm so excited. I have not been to Seoul or Korea in general in almost 15 years, and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to take you guys. I'm gonna vlog. I'm doing the whole thing. Don't you worry. You're gonna get so much content, but I cannot wait to experience Korean culture in Korea, all the K-pop, all the food, all the things. Here we go, though. Korean noodles, first off. Mmm, mmm. I like my noodles to be more chewy and like almost a little overdone. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this. It's gonna bring me back to life. I'm like actually starting my day now at 4 p.m. I'm not even kidding. And then we gotta go run an errand. So let me eat and I'll see you soon. It is 7.39 p.m. I am outside for the first time and the sun is setting currently. Okay, guys, I'm running an errand and then I'm going over to Zane's house and we have to get some PXU stuff done, but I'm running a very fun errand. So if you guys remember in my Coachella try on little fitting vlog that I did a little while back, I am wearing this dress to Coachella that is from a really amazing designer called Frolove. I'm wearing this on Friday. It's so, so cute. It's so beautiful. It's like my dream dress. Since it's a full corset all the way down, it's definitely hugging me in some areas and emphasizing some things that I just know on the day of I'm not going to feel super comfortable with. So I was talking to Parker and my tailor, Sati, who's absolutely amazing. And she actually worked this dress. Like Sabrina Carpenter wore this dress and Sati actually helped do some of the tailoring for Sabrina's shows. And I kind of wanted to mix two of the looks that Sabrina wore together. Like one of them had this really pretty, it was a custom, it's the one with the heart on the chest. I'm sure we all know what I'm talking about because it's so cute. She wore like every color variation of it. It was so beautiful and it had this really pretty like lace skirt to it. Honestly guys, I'm having a really hard time talking right now. I am still hung over. What was I gonna say? Oh, so I showed Sati and she was like, oh my gosh, that'll be so easy. Just go to Joanne's, get some fabric and then I'm gonna try and find a color match. So that's why I brought it of lace to match this and then we can do like a little drapey skirt. She said it's just like a hand sewn stitch. Super easy. So let's go into Joanne's and let's see what we're working with. I see that the whole second floor of this Joann's is all fabric. So I feel as though if we're gonna find one, it'll be here. Let's go. So much fabric up there. I really hope they have it. It is kind of a specific shade of blue, so let's pray. Now after Lauren's wedding, anytime I see like lace and these little like beaded things, I think of her dress. That is so beautiful. I really do wanna learn how to sew, especially so I can make all my pants fit me correctly. Lace, knit. Oh my God, I hope they have it. 
guys, good morning. It's the next morning. Last night at Joann's, they had very slim pickings for fabric, for lace specifically. There were like two options for white, two options for black, and one option for purple. Meaning, also I'm not naked. Every time I wear something strapless, I look naked. Meaning, I got myself up extra early this morning. We are heading out the door, and we are going to go to a fabric store over in the fabric district this morning, where I believe, if it's gonna be somewhere in LA, I'm gonna find the fabric there. So yes, we are gonna go head over there, try to find the blue lace, and then I'm stopping at a Crocs event on the way home. You guys know I love my Crocs. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a newer Croc fan, but they are throwing an event today and I'm stopping by on the way home and you have to see my dress. It's so pretty. Here she is. It looks like a sunset in a dress. This is like the perfect dress to wear on a beach vacation. Also, sorry, you're so crooked. There we go. Better, there we go. Here's the dress. I did the same Delaney Child's hair again because my hair was so dirty, I will say. It kind of gives prom. I'm trying to work on it not giving prom, but that's the hair. Makeup is the same as always. And then we have a few more things on the schedule today, but I will get to that later. So let's go get in the car. Hello everybody, I made it. I'm wearing this dress and some heels around the streets because I'm going to that event right after this. My feet are already hurting from the wedding weekend. Oh my goodness, I was just dancing the whole night away. But we made it to the fabric store and I can't seem to find the entrance. I hope this is it. I just went on the other side. Entrance and rear, damn it. Okay, we made it. Mood, designer fabrics. I feel as though they will have it in there. They must. Oh, it will absolutely be here. Oh my gosh, there's just so much. I don't know where to begin. This blows Joanne's <gasps> out of the water. Okay, we've got a viable option already, but I wanted a scalloped lace edge, but that could be a good option. Okay, there's no exact match of lace, but there is that tool, and so I'm thinking maybe we'll get the tool with all these beautiful rhinestone trims. Maybe it could go on like the very bottom edge to create that like skirt. I'm gonna call Sati and make sure it's even doable because I don't want to get it if it's not even a plan, possible plan, but so pretty. Look at all of these gorgeous little rhinestone moments. So cute. Okay, I'm thinking this trim could be really cute if we just put this on the edge or we have this really chunky option but it might be a little too heavy for the tool oh they're so pretty we have made it to the event <gasps> We're having a little brunchy moment. I got my croc sandals on. They're like walking on clouds, you guys, and they match the dress perfectly. Here's the full look. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna go sit. Okay, what do we think oh, is this? this is, yeah. Okay, we'll get this because if you if it's like that and then you have this material that's gonna be wrapped and sewn and bunched up anyways, it's, show. it's not gonna show. So oh, you yeah. can have it pinched up and then- It doesn't even matter. Exactly, then she can just stitch this and it'll be just like more. Do we think it's cute with the tool or no tool? I think it's cute. Okay. Yeah, we're, but I mean, you can do it however you want. I do think you want... I like, I don't like that my belly button shows. You so want I'm like, I think a little higher. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's a like wedding that. dress. It's like all of a sudden, <laughs> we like, should keep it this way. Yes, yes. The band. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> It's giving Cinderella. I feel like Lana would love this look. Definitely, bro. Honestly, this in white. Oh my god, cute for like a bachelorette yes. or like a reception dress. Yes. Maybe bachelorette because your nipples are bedazzled. <laughs> you're but, right, you're yeah. right. You're I awesome. love you, Cal. <laughs> I actually think it's I like great. this more than the lace, how, how the lace would have looked. Too. Honestly, same because yeah. of the stones, like the rhinestones. This looks more... Less busy too. Exactly. Yeah. You can be doing her, the routine with her. Yeah, I need to learn the choreography. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> she's like, you're like, you in the crowd, come on stage. Hey, security, okay. Esc escort her out. Soccer. Yeah. <laughs> Leave she Oh, it's so fun. How are the little gloves? So cute? So Dude. Cute. This is like so cute. I'm so glad we did this. We tied them yeah. get a good look. Yay, it all this worked is out. Good. This is so good. But this like, oh my god, it has to be done. I think I'm gonna buy hair extensions, like regular hair extensions, but do white ribbon in the hair. Or white and pink ribbon could be cute. Yay! This is so I feel cute. like a brat doll. I love it. I know the hair. Hello, guys. Okay, it is later. Today has been such a fun day. I had such a good time at the event. I love my Coachella looks. They're like my favorite that I've ever had so far. I will say I'm not 100% sure of what I'm wearing on day three, but I sure I'm gonna be able to pull something together. Not too worried about that at all, but I'm so excited. I love the looks. This year feels so different than before. Normally we go with like a really big group, but everyone's either not going this year or doing their own thing. So it's gonna be a lot more chill than it normally is. I feel like just the whole idea of Coachella is much more chill this year. I know more people that are not going than going for sure, which is, that's not usually how it is. Eating some dinner right now, I'm having this honey butter chicken with, I think these are carrots, carrots, potatoes, green beans, chicken, sauce, 
is good. Mm. I potentially might go work out right now. I'm waiting to see if I get off the wait list for Pilates. And if I do, then I'll book it there. I'll leave in like 10 minutes and book it there and do a class. If not, I'm going tomorrow morning. So that will be totally fine. And then later tonight, I'm going to Alicia's for a spray tan so I can be nice and tan for the desert. So that's what's going on. Let me eat and I'll keep you guys posted on whether or not I make it to this workout. I made it. I'm really excited. The instructor knows my name now. I love this instructor so much. She's so sweet. I love her class. Oh my God, though, I was sore. I came here on Friday and it, what day is it? It's Tuesday. Only took a couple days off, but my goodness, I was so sore and I was in so much pain. I also think that I officially prefer working out in the morning than at night. I just feel better in the morning. I feel like I'm less sore in the mornings too. Regardless, I'm proud of myself for doing that. Let's go home. I need to shave my, I should have taken my makeup off before, but I was in a rush. I don't ever work out in makeup, but let's go home, take the makeup off. I need to shave and scrub the body for my spray tan and let's go to Alicia's. Hello guys, good morning. It's the next morning. I am much tanner if you can see right now. I got my spray tan last night, worked out, did my spray tan, got home, had a couple work things I had to do and then knocked the F out. Also, I don't know if you can see behind me, but I have one of our girls here in the car. Momo and Daisy are both getting groomed this morning, so it was just Luna and I at the house this morning. Oh, you definitely can't see her back there. She's back there. She's being so good. Momo and Daisy went to the groomer this morning, so it was just Luna at the house, and I had to leave. Cal and I both had to leave because we're about to go run an errand, and I was like, honestly, I do not trust. I love her so much. I do not trust this dog alone. She's never been alone at home without the sisters there, so I packed her on up with me. She's here with me, and we're running some errands today and then we're also recording PXU this morning but here she is she looks really cute she's being really good aren't we being so good yes all right we gotta go I'm in a bit of a hurry we are at the hair shop I'm gonna grab some hair extensions for the weekend we leave for Coachella in the morning which is absolutely crazy and then we need to go pick up some wristbands for the weekend as well so we're all gonna caravan over there Miss Lou's coming let's go who's such a good pup it's so much easier with just one versus three come on girly girl oh she's so good this way Looney you. Go ahead. It's okay. <laughs> you love oh. everybody, Lou. She's so excited. She's so Come on, cute. Lou. Let's go. Just like that. In and out. Literally two minutes. Maybe I walked in. I was like, hi. I need 18 inch clip-ins for my hair color. They're like perfect right here. Miss Lou. Everybody loved her. Everyone came up and said hi. It was really sweet. Now let's go to Alicia's. Oh, scary. Miss Lou's walking. We got Auntie Lotion. Dad. Oh, they're chatting. They can't hear me. Look how cute she's being. She was so well behaved. We went and got our wristbands for Coachella or for the after party rather. Looney, you're doing such a good job. Feeling so LA, walking my dog in the streets of Hollywood. Oh, my dog trying to sniff a napkin on the ground. What are we doing? We're gonna meet the cousins. <gasps> Come on, Miss Lou's meeting her cousins. Hi. Oh, we're so tan. We are so tan. Friend. Friend shaped. <laughs> Why is she friend shaped? Come yeah, on, girls. Okay, okay. Come on, let's go on the grass. Okay, okay. Luna's so big compared yeah. to Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Friends. Okay. Friend. Oh, Luna. That's awful. <laughs> 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 Do you know the dance? Hi, guys. I'm back. I'm not even gonna explain the looks, but everybody say hi. Hey. Hello, everyone. Uh, um, what's a good morning in uh, judge language? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> like it's a different morning. language. Yeah. <laughs> good, good riddance. <clears throat> All rise. All rise. Damn it. I Hello, guys. It is so much later from when I last talked to you. I think when I talked to you, it was like 1.30 p.m. It is now 1.21 a.m., almost 12 hours later. Hello! A lot has happened since I last saw you guys. We recorded the episode of the podcast. We got a lot of work stuff done. And then one of my friends had a family emergency. So I just went and spent some time with them. Got home around like 11 or so. And for the past two hours, I just packed up everything that we need for Coachella. I'm bringing two giant suitcases because I have all the looks slash other options slash chill clothes slash also this year I brought a lot of boots. So pretty much in this suitcase, there's only boots and purses. And then in this one is all clothing, which is crazy. But I mean, it's just Kel and I in the car. So we've got the room. So I figured why not have a little fashion show when we're there. Honestly, guys, these are my favorite looks that I have ever had for any festival ever. I'm so excited for them. I hope I didn't forget anything. I 
think I have everything. Let me just do a little mental checklist because that's really important. <gasps> Almost got the wrong socks. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need some low socks. Low socks. Let me add those to the list. Low socks. No, not those, baby. I'll find them. Don't worry. I can't find my blister band-aids that I bought and I want to make sure to bring those for preventative measures. And Cal's so cute trying to tear the house apart trying to find them. Okay, and then the last day I'm actually not 100% sure of what I'm wearing, but I'm bringing a bunch of options and we'll just decide on that day. So that's why there's so much going on. In this bag here, I have all of my like kind of random things. I've got my normal like purse stuff, like my keys. I got all my medicine, if anybody cares, all my medicine. In this little bag, I have a bunch of touch up things. So I've got setting spray, my little body spray, roller ball, makeup touch ups, powder, all my lip stuff in here that I just kind of keep at all times. I've got my wallet, I got my keys, I got extra contacts, which honestly I will put in this bag so I can keep them nice and organized. Then I also have, that's a little purse in here. I also have all of these rhinestones in here. I'm bringing this big pack of rhinestones because Ollie actually bought rhinestone cowboy boots for his Lana Cella look, which we know is very important to Ollie. But unfortunately they got lost in the mail and he was really sad. So I said, you know what? We've got a whole car ride where I'm doing nothing. I'm going to get some editing done and that's kind of it. So let me rhinestone your boots for you. I actually bought these to rhinestone my own outfit this year and then decided to not do that. And I was going to return these rhinestones a couple days ago, but I was like, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to need them. And they came in handy. Ollie literally found out this morning that the boots did not arrive. So we've got the glue, we've got the tools, you've got all the rhinestones and I can help him create his perfect shoes for Lanicella. And then also for the car ride, I'm going to bring this plastic bowl so that I can pour the rhinestones in and then hopefully be able to do that while not driving while well, I'm the passenger princess, of course. And then also, of course, it's gonna be very sunny, so I'm bringing a bunch of these products here that I wanted to share with you guys. These are all new Kopari products that were sent to me, and these are all SPF products, which are amazing. Oh, they're made with kukui nuts. Those are like the necklaces that you can get in Hawaii. I believe they give them to the men, but these are gorgeous. They came out with these like glow, body glow sunscreen, and I thought how perfect would these be to bring because obviously it's gonna be sunny, we wanna protect our skin, and they can add some nice body glow. So we have SPF of 30 in gold and amber. That's so beautiful. And then we have SPF 50 in this like gold, really pretty yellow gold shade. And then we have the sun shield on the glow sheer stick, like a little sunscreen stick. I can throw that in my purse. And then I'm really excited about this. This is the sun glaze sheer body mist. It's got an SPF of 42. And look at this like... If you shake it up, it actually does settle. Oh my God, but do you see that? When you shake it up, it looks like marble. Can you see that? It's so beautiful. You just shake it up with these little balls in there and then you can spray your body. We can stay nice and protected. So bringing all these because that is uber, uber important, obviously, to keep our body nice and protected. So I'm putting these in there. I've got my bag of tech stuff already packed too. I have all of my computers, chargers, so many cameras, so many batteries, so many, all the things. Like it's chock full of things. I've got my laptop here that I'm going to pack up. And then last but not least, quite possibly the most important bag, we have all of the snacks and all the necessities. So first off, my favorite chips in the world. I'm bringing so many bags of my favorite chicken chips, my wild chicken chips, because A, I'm gonna eat at least a bag or two on the way over, and then all the rest are for drunchy, slash also, I know when Alicia gets her hands on these, she's gonna eat them all. So I'm bringing extra so I can share with everyone and I can still have enough for myself. I packed a bag of crystal lights. We got crystal lights there. I got a box of protein bars, and then also I'm bringing all of the liquid IV because obviously it is a necessity. We've got guava. We've got the sugar-free lemon lime, which is one of my faves. We've got the sugar-free peach. I think it's white peach. Yep, white peach. And then we have the sugar-free green grape, which is also delicious. Honestly, they're all so good. I'm bringing those. And that is everything that I'm bringing. I'm pretty sure I am all good to go. I just need to grab a little mini hairspray from upstairs and I need to find those blister band-aids. And then we are ready to go. In the morning, I'm gonna wake up. I'm taking my mom to her doctor's appointment and then I will get on the road with Cal and we're gonna head over to Coachella. On that note, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.